How cool would it be to have your own apps run on a TV device like Apple TV or Fire TV? Well, it's actually not that hard. Let me show you how you can get started. So by now you can actually use Expo with React Native to build apps for TV based on the React Native TV OS fork. I recently talked to Giovanni Laquidara, he also gave a great presentation at the AppJS that you should definitely check out if you're interested in this topic. And if you want to get started, simply run npx create expo app using the usual CLI, then followed by the name and then you're going to use the template with router TV. So this already should point you into the direction what's going on here. This is really using the latest stuff from Expo. So we're not only using the TVOS React Native fork, but also the Expo router for navigation in this app. So let's wait until the node modules are installed. So normally if you would do this in a regular React Native application, uh, you would have to go through a few changes to your project. So you would use the fork, as I said, you would use the React Native TVOS fork, then you would add a config plugin, add this to your app.json, uh, export some settings and then run a pre-build. In our case, we only have to do this step. So we only have to say export expo tv1 and then do a clean pre-build of our project. So yes, I don't really care about the bundle name. Let this create our project. In the meantime, if you want to check out your um, TV app on a simulator, which I highly recommend, you can actually do this uh, on something like the Apple TV simulator. So if you never did anything in that regards, you will have to open up Xcode and first of all under, uh, what is it, it's window, or first of all I recommend Xcode settings. So under settings you should find the platforms tab and make sure that you have tvos actually installed taking up 3.6 gigabytes on my disk thank you for nothing once you got this you can hit over to window and then open up uh, devices and simulators we're going to find a list of all your simulators and here you also want to make sure that you have a tvos simulator otherwise you want to add one uh, i think you have to add them I think you can add them in here. So this is what you definitely want. Once you got all of this, you should be able to execute and run your project. So let's see npx expo run iOS. So usually npx expo run iOS, as you know, will run your application on iOS simulator. Uh, by the way, you can also do this for Android uh, using the Android tooling, of course. Now, why does this work? Uh, let's quickly check out our app.json. Inside the app.json you're gonna see this big config plugin for the React Native TVOS which configures uh, Android TV banner and also icons for Apple TV. On top of that, uh, is there anything else of interest? Yes, I highly recommend you check out the package.json because here you should see that you're using actually the fork of React Native. So don't worry about that, the fork is always a tiny bit maybe lagging behind the official React Native version, but that's not really a big deal. So this is really quite up to date and managed. Um, so once we got our pre-built, and here you can see also, um, here's even the Expo TV setting included automatically. Um, we just have to do our pre-built, we have to set up our platform. Uh, and once we got all of that, we can just wait until this is finished and hope to see it on the Apple TV soon. All right, this stuff is normally already pretty hard to demo. Uh, now I have to split up my view even more, but here is still my Apple TV simulator and the application should be deployed and voila, welcome to your app. So you now actually can't use your mouse in here. I have to use my keyboard, but I should be able to go to the explore tab, go to this tab, um, go back. As you can see here, it will actually show my actions and capture my events. This is part of the TV fork. By the way, I also found you can also bring in this unbelievably useless uh, Apple TV remote. You can uh, toggle this uh, under like uh, some sort of features. I think the shortcut on a Mac is command shift R to open up this uh, thing I can then hold option uh, to touch. Let's see, I can hold options to touch. Is that true? Yeah, that makes the stuff move and I can click here. Uh, I don't know, this is 
if I don't see my cursor, this just makes it even harder. Uh, with menu, I can go back, so, yeah, well, oh, Jesus, I don't know. Oh, my, this is so hard to control. The remote is even worse than in real life. Damn, yeah, let's not do this. But what I wanted to show you is we now have a TV OS application running with live reload, of course. So I can change something in here and it would immediately change in my Apple TV simulator. The cool thing about this setup is really that this is just a React Native project with Expo Router and you're gonna feel right at home at how it's set up and how it works. You see, we got a stack navigation, uh, we got a tab bar navigation, there are just a couple of things that make this specific for uh, tvOS, how the focus is handled and how um, the screen is divided into different sections, but that's just something that's specific about um, tvOS in general. Now, here's something, because this looks maybe a bit boring to you, here's something I recorded for you that shows the full power of it. All right, so my development build is running and ta-da, here it is. I can also do some changes, let's see, voila, live reload on the Apple TV working. And of course I can use the Apple TV to navigate between the different sections here. I can also confirm, if I just go back, it's here, it's a TV app, it's running React Native live reload on my Apple TV, wow. All right, so if that wasn't cool, I don't know. I really felt so good deploying with Wi-Fi to my Apple TV in my living room. Uh, just unbelievable, great feeling. Just makes me happy that I know how to use React Native. Now, on top of that, there's also something I wanted to show you, which is that you can not only use the Expo template, um, this is the tvOS fork, but there's also a, f uh, a template from Ignite. So Ignite, you know, uh, is the boilerplate from Infinite Red. And you can quite easily check out, clone this repository and get started. I tried this as well here on the device. Um, my Ignite app right now isn't working, so I probably can't launch this right now. Uh, or can I? Yeah, we can actually go into it. Pretty cool. So if you want um, another demo, Another thing that you can check out, you can try the infinite red repository here. So you can navigate around, there's a nice navigation at the top. I just don't know how I can go like to the top arrow again. It's, <laughs> you know, this is not the problem I would react about infinite red or <laughs> the ignite template. This is absolutely my own problem and how I navigate these simulators. So. Uh, check out the Ignite boilerplate if you want another look at how you could build TV apps. All right, I hope this gave you an impression of how great React Native and tvOS is, how fast you can get started with the templates available. It's just mind-blowing to me to see what's possible if you know how to use React Native and another reason to get into it if you haven't touched it so far. Regarding TV app development, of course, there are a ton of things that you need to consider. Uh, I talked with Giovanni about this episode on Rocketship Podcast. Should be available soon. Um, we talked about focus management, about size management, uh, about uh, general, the performance of these devices. There's so much more to consider when you develop for TV um, devices because they have very poor performance in many cases because people just purchase this like once in 10 years. Um, although the screen is so much bigger than a tablet, you have to consider that you're like, three meters or more away from the screen. So that's why you have always these huge cards. You don't want to put like too much information on the screen, really just like five, six elements you can click on. You need to show the user where the focus is with these like unbelievable bad remotes and a lot of things that you need to consider, but it is great that we can do it with React Native. Now, I would love to know, have you built any TV OS apps with React Native yet? Drop a comment. I would love to check them out or share your thoughts on what you think about this. Can you use it in the future? What would you like to build with it? And by the way, if you want more information about builds with React Native, check out this video I did about all the possible ways to build your React Native application with Expo. Don't forget to subscribe, check out galaxies.dev if you want more guidance for your React Native projects and I will catch you in the next video. So until then, happy coding, Simon.